Is the boxed wine at Walmart worth taking a chance on? We're going to find out. Hi, I'm Jen. When you live on a $300 a month grocery budget, you got to cut costs wherever you can. And that includes booze, people. Recently, I've started shopping more at my Walmart neighborhood market. And pro tip, if you want to avoid the craziness, don't go to those like Walmart super centers. It's going to be pretty chaotic. So I have found this gem of a Walmart neighborhood market. It's still pretty close to my house, but there's like nobody ever there. And I believe they're open 24 hours a day. It's sort of like Walmart light. There's like no lines. There's not a lot of people. So I have started to frequent the Walmart neighborhood market because they have really cheap boxed wine. So I'm hoping to start kind of a series here on Gen Talks Forever where I bring you the cheapest wine I can find test it out and tell you if it's any good. Now, am I a wine connoisseur? Connoisseur? Clearly not, but you know what? Let's be honest here. When you're going to buy alcohol, does it really matter? For this video, I took one for the team and I went and got an about $11 box of something called Oakleaf Merlot. Okay, it's actually called Oakleaf Vineyards and Oakleaf is two words and it says stays fresh for six weeks after opening. One box is equivalent to four bottles of wine. So if you do the math on that, that is under $3 per bottle of wine. Now, this is about as cheap as I've seen wine get. So I thought it was worth a chance. They also have other varieties. I believe they have like white Zinvendel, Cabernet Sauvignon. I believe they have like Pinot Grigio or something. So definitely get yourself all through a Walmart and pick yourself up a box. So if you haven't ever used box wine, don't worry because I'm gonna show you how. It's pretty easy. It's a lot easier than trying to mess around with the corkscrew, believe me, I know. So, uh, all right, so let's get, get this cracking. Apparently this wine is award-winning since 2008 as 200 plus medals, whatever that means. There's no year on it, so that's the ultimate sign of class here. And it says it was bottled on October 19th, 2017. It does say store below 72 degrees Fahrenheit. We are not doing that, but you know what? My husband drinks this quite frequently and he hasn't really had a problem with it. So when you're opening your boxed wine, there's usually some type of perforation here. So you gotta like punch this out. You know, you know what I'm saying here? Okay, let's see here. All right. And if you have no upper body strength like me, it's gonna be super easy. Okay, see bottom of carton for opening instructions. So there's instructions here too, in case you get stuck. All right, I might have to like, all right, here. Oh, okay, all right. I didn't break a nail, don't worry guys. All right, so you wanna get this little round disc out of here and also punch out the rest of this part here. All right, here we go. It's, it's working here, oh, crap, okay. So you wanna do this, take out this little cardboard disc here. You don't, you don't need that, you're fine. You're totally fine, okay. And then inside there's going to be your like little pour spout, okay. So, all right, let's get this sucker out here. Oh boy, all right. This is a lot of work. So you wanna poke this through here, make sure it's getting out. And then you're gonna sort of like put this little cardboard piece here and put this in between this little groove here. Whatever, I don't know what this is called. But let's read the instructions, okay. It says press down firmly on tab A, breaking through perforations, pull entire perforated tab area. Okay. Pull spout out of box by its base, sliding the first groove out of the spout. Okay, that's a lot of words. To dispense wine, slowly twist knob. Okay, so, you, so the good thing is, if you're new to this, don't worry, there's instructions. I think we're ready to go with the wine here. All right, I've got my wine glass here, trusty wine glass. All right, let's see if we can get this done here. Um, all right, I might have to hold this up. Okay, there's a handle too. Let's see here, why? All right, here we go, we got wine, okay. You might want to pour a little slowlier than uh, slower than I am. All right, I might have to do some cleanup here. All right, this is about all we're gonna do for now. Also, if you're using this in like an area with carpet, make sure that you kind of, you know, get that extra bit so it doesn't like go all over the place or something. Moment of truth. Okay, so this is the award-winning Merlot from Walmart, Oak Leaf. Okay. Honest thoughts, this tastes pretty much like any other glass of red wine I've ever had in my life. And it's far cheaper than some of them. It's a little bit vinegary, not a lot of tannins, and it's not very chewy. But again, 
for under $3 a bottle. Can you really go wrong? Not really. All right, let's do a little swirly action. Try to release the bouquet or whatever else they call it. I don't know, I don't really care. I'm usually drinking this when I'm sitting at my computer and eating SpaghettiOs, so you know, whatever. I'd like to take a moment to do a little bit of a PSA for the kids. If you are watching, please don't drink until you're at least 21. None of this underage drinking crap going on because believe me, I know you might think it looks cool or like the thing to do, but when you get to be my age, it's just kind of sad, especially when you're sitting at home alone, uh, drinking, wearing Hello Kitty pajama pants, a t-shirt you got from Aldi's and you're by yourself. So again, it stops being cool. Like I'm, I'm pretty much over this, but you know what, I'm here. So we're doing it. Overall, I would give this wine about a 6.5 if I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10. Not the, clearly not the best wine I've had, not the worst. You know, for the price, it, I definitely give it a 10 out of 10 for value, for sure. As far as the taste goes, I'm still gonna give it a solid, yeah, more of the taste is more of like a six. But as far as being, a, like if I had to give an overall, it's under $3 a bottle, so really. Again, and also if you're an adult, make sure you drink responsibly and please do not drink and drive. That's about one of the most uncool things you can ever do and you're putting yourself and someone else's life at risk. I'm not really sure why boxed wine gets a bad rap. It, again, stays fresh for long. You don't have to use it right away. It's very reasonably priced. So I don't know why people have a problem with it. In fact, I'm not above drinking canned wine either. In fact, I might do a review of the flip flop wine in a future video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Also, have I mentioned that I'm technically allergic to wine because I, I'm allergic to sulfites, which is in wine? I'm also Asian, so I get the Asian glow thing going on. But you know, that's not gonna stop me. Um, you know, I'm, again, I'm, I, I need, to, need to take one for the team, be a team player here. It's all good. If there's any other boxed wines you'd like me to try, feel free to leave a comment and let me know and I might give it a whirl. But the whole point of this segment is to uh, help you guys drink on the cheap because you don't need to spend a lot of money. In fact, if you guys serve this wine to friends at a party, they would never say anything. They're not gonna know the difference. I, I don't know. It just, most people just are, most people are not wine connoisseurs and that is why you could serve them boxed wine and they're never gonna know. Anyways, this is it for my Oak Leaf Vineyards Merlot review, the Walmart boxed wine. If you enjoyed this video, let me know and I will see you guys next time for another video. Cheers.